views about Sir Bobby Charlton was winning and winning with a goal like that a fitting way to mark the passing of one of Manchester United's most famous players? Yeah, we are happy. Well, we did that. And as you said, yeah, we have to pay um, attention and do it um, in, a, in a good way. And uh, first half, I think it wasn't the standard uh, from Sir Bobby Charlton, but the second half was was a bit better. But yeah, of course the news um, arrived, and we are very sad. And our thoughts are with his family, especially his um, his wife, Lady Norma, with his children, with his grandchildren. I think yeah, with his passing, yeah, a legend, a giant, uh, passing away, uh, his achievements are so immense and huge, uh, global. It's not only England, I think global. If you see the facts he achieved, uh, it's incredible. Uh, all his games, his titles, trophies, uh, the contribution he had with his goals. And then what I heard, I had never had the honor to meet him. But uh, what I heard, he was, uh, despite all his trophies and games, he was so humble and integral, so big personality. I think he's an example for all of us um, as a footballer, but also uh, in the society and global wide. I, I, I realise you were kind of had a, a football game to play, but when you when you found out when the when the squad found out, did it have any effect on your preparation? Uh, I, th I heard some some players uh, they got uh, inspiration from it, from it and they wanted uh, a win. Uh, to uh, to market, um, so yeah, it, it was an extra motivation, absolutely. How, how do you view the performance as a whole, and, and what changes did you make in the second half to actually get that win? Um, it, it was a bit of a grind at times. Our first half was not a good game. Our sides, <laughs> we can talk long, we can talk short. No, it was was uh, a poor game. Our sides. And you see it often after international, but especially with us, with so many changes every time in lineups, then the routines are not there. But especially uh, tonight in the first half, uh, we uh, we allow them to play, make it their game. Um, we are too opportune, too direct. Um, uh, yeah, no good, no good organization. Um, second half, uh, we make some uh, changes in half time. And there yeah, you saw we got better constructions, we were more composed, uh, we kept the ball and uh, not so direct, uh, we make switches, uh, we take uh, from the, um, this point of view the control in the game and uh, we created chances and I think finally it's then also deserved that you get a win and I think it was a beautiful goal. Harry Maguire, man of the match, I just wondered your reflections on his performance, he got applauded by both sets of fans. And also, I think there was a moment in the first half where it seemed like him and Johnny Evans both in open play were kind of going up the top. I just wondered if that was a deliberate tactic. <laughs> no, as I said, we had some constructions first half, and we want uh, to play very dynamic. And that is our aim. But I think in the first half we were overreacting um, uh, on that fact, and uh, that was uh, over the top. So we correct that during half time, and then you saw. Uh, more control, but I have to say uh, to Harry and Johnny as well, but Harry, uh, he is playing like we want him to play. Uh, very proactive, um, out of possession, dominating his opponent, uh, stepping in when necessary, uh, reading the game, good covering, but also in possession, very proactive, uh, stepping in, uh, delivering good passing, uh, vertical passing, so uh, good switches. Um, yeah, I'm happy with his performance. And with uh, Hoyland, are you still managing his injury? Uh, you know, he played through, through the whole game, yeah. So, do you think, do you think if that does get better, his confidence will, will get better as well? well as you see, he play often whole games. <coughs> but um, the idea behind this, yeah, we have to manage his game minutes. and. Uh, but also, yeah, um, there's also internal competition and to give order the opportunity. But yeah, definitely uh, we have to manage his game minutes and uh, coming up many games. Uh, it's, uh, we are now in October, but 
till the end of the season, so many games. And uh, we need everyone on board and we need everyone sharp and to keep him sharp. And uh, if I see the programme for the coming weeks, uh, we have to swap um, during games, between games. Otherwise, we don't keep the energy and we don't keep the focus in, um, in the team and we don't keep them so fresh for, for every game. And also, you want to do something with subs uh, to bring uh, uh, a new energy in a team. And also from tactical approach, you want to do something.